Uh, hello, this is a note about the process of installing S63 charts into QT VLM. And the main reference, actually the required reference, is to read through this article. I'll put this link in the description that describes the process. It tells all about S63 charts. Tells the process how to pick, how to learn what charts are available, why we want to have some, uh, even if we're using other charts. The process of downloading the free ones from New Zealand, which is the excellent way to practice this process and then how to actually buy some with uh, Chart World and so on, and then how to install them. And so this is a video within that article, actually. All right, so here's where we start, and let me just give a quick look ahead outline. There's sort of three steps to it. One, read that article. Two is we have to prepare the program, QTVLM, which means we buy a user permit from them. That's a one-time purchase, 15 euros, I believe. It's 15 euros. It's a one-time purchase. You can use that to download any number of charts, any number of S63 charts from that you buy from any nation. You can have French ones, German, Australia, and so on, any number. And you can use that permit on three devices, like a PC, a Mac, and then maybe your uh, iPhone, I, I guess. I'm, I haven't done that on a mobile device. I'm not sure how that works. Um, but PC and Mac for sure, or two PCs. Uh, then once you get your user permit, you will look in the program. We're going to take a quick look at all this. You'll see that there's a hardware ID that identifies your computer. And then you send an email to QTVLM with that ID, that hardware ID, and your user permit, and they send you back an activation key. You plug in that activation key and, and push a couple of buttons to check that it sees it all works. So your computer then is ready to go, but you don't have any charts. Then you get the charts, and you read the videos and the movie, I mean uh, the, uh, the article about how you download the charts and what the end products look like. We're just going to look at the end products here and we're going to load them, practice with the New Zealand charts, and then later practice with some you might want to buy. So in this example today, for now, I'm going to, I'm going to load. I've, I've downloaded with, with the proper user permit. Whenever you download even these free ones from New Zealand, they're S63, so you download them with a unique user ID. User ID, uh, user, uh, is it called user ID? User permit. User permit, it's called. It's a 28-digit number, 28-digit number, and you buy them, and that purchase is tied to that user permit. So I have, uh, so I have, I've got them for this uh, my QTVLM permit for New Zealand, and then I actually purchased for the purpose of this demo two char two charts from Chart World using the same permit, the same permit. Uh, and so we're going to load both of those. So let's take a look at the pro and then and then um, what's next here? Uh, then then we have then we have to just one last step tell the program where we've put these charts and so forth. All right, that's the process, and it's the same in a Mac and a PC, essentially identical. Uh, all right, and so now we're here, and we'll go to uh, configuration and then charts charts and then s63 and here's what you will see this you'll have this hardware id will be there permanently loaded in the and that's unique to this to your device your system and then you'll have to put, buy a permit and that permit's going to go in here then we're, okay so let's look at that process you buy a permit yeah i click let's see if that all works actually uh, so i'm going here and I must have gotten to the right page, I assume. Yeah, look at that, S63. So you go through here, and uh, this is some technicality with buying things from, f it's 15 euros, uh, and, you, and this is a technicality about buying things from France. You say, okay, I agree, and then you buy it right now and you buy it. Now they process this with PayPal, but you don't have to have a PayPal account. It's just they're processing your credit card. Or you can use a PayPal account. Anyway, you do that, and that purchase then, then they will send you back that uh, user ID. And then 
what we'll have that I'm going to show you some summary in a minute. Then you'll have that, and then you'll send then you'll send another email. That was all done online. This is now done with an email to uh, you, the, the information will be there if it's help desk or info or support or something at uh, Meltemaeus. And then um, 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 so you'll send them that number and that number, and they'll provide the key. So I'm going to then load these in here. And here's how I keep the, and you'll want to keep records of this stuff somehow. Because here, so here's my, and again, it, re, a reminder that these are all totally unique to my system and none, none of these will work in any other computer or machine whatsoever. So this is my 28 digit number that I bought and that I'm using in three places. I'm using it in a um, in the iMac. That's the one I'm in now. I'm running a, ver a version of an iMac. And then so that has a that iMac has a hardware ID like this and they sent me back this key. And and then likewise I have a MacBook Pro laptop and that's here and then I have a Oh, okay. So then uh, this is actually an older ma This is an older laptop. This is a newer laptop, and so forth. So those are those three, and I keep track of that stuff, and like that. So right now, I would I have the user permit they sent me. I would put copy this, and I think you can definitely add. You can you can definitely send in two or three key, two or three hardware keys, and, and your and your, um, I mean, hardware IDs, two or three hardware IDs, and your user permit, and get back several, uh, several. There's no charge for that la for this last step. So that's the hardware ID. I don't want that. I want the. Oh, I've got to get this. Okay, Command C, and that's like that goes there. And then the next thing for. Oh, what machine is this? I'm on the iMac. Okay, iMac. So this this stuff all has to be right, of course. And then that's a number that would go in here, uh, key. Now I hope, I hope that's right. So then when you do that, I hit validate. Okay, well, I guess that's right. Okay, per good, perfect. So um, where's my instructions here? What have I done? I've, I've got that, I checked it all okay. Um, now I have to get the charts. Then I'm going to come back and assign these. I can't assign anything anywhere till I actually get the chart. So for the time being, I'm done here. I roll that up, find the OK, say OK. User permit and activation key are OK. Oh, that's good. OK, now let's look. Now we're actually sort of not in, we're not in the program. We're in the program folders, the folders that we're using now. So now we're getting into like... A, a finder. On a, I'm on a Mac. Now you would, the same thing would happen, well, let me just show you here. On a Mac, I go to Applications and then QTVLM and S63. Okay, so this is where, okay, you remember, okay, that's easy. I, I, I went real fast, but let me go back. Well, here you are. I'm in a Macintosh Applications QTVM S63. Here's where we're going to put all those number, all the charts that we got. Be sure that when you do that, that you see this file here, iho.pub is there. If it's not there, back on the page we were, there is a page a place to go look for a copy of that and put it there. That's the uh, public key that uh, involves the translation of the. Uh, of the encryption. Okay, now what do I want next? Oh, a quick look just over to the PC. Is this a PC? Yeah, Windows 10. And in Windows 10, you would go to C Drive, Program Files. This is a 32-bit program, so I mean a 64-bit program, so you're in Program Files, and QTVLM, and uh, S63, do we have one? Got to be here somewhere. Okay, yeah, S63, and there's our guy we need. And so you would be putting the chart, the, what we're gonna do in the Mac right now, you would do all right here. So again, this stuff is perfectly symmetric except the sort of the location of that root folder, the QTVLM root folder is, is in those locations. Or 
You can, with this program, you literally could put that root folder anywhere you want to. You could put it on your desktop. That doesn't matter. But if you're like keeping your program stuff together, you would put it in the program folders or the applications. But again, you literally could run that off your desktop when you install it. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Now, the next, okay, so now we need, okay, so what I'm going to do here, let me just get another folder open. I'm going to do now, what is this? I've, I've got my finder here, and I'm going to do command N. So I've got, I want two of those folders. I want to look at two of them at once because I'm going to move stuff around. If I'm back over here on a PC, I would do probably control N. Yeah, control N. Then you have two windows and we can move stuff and you can move stuff around that way. So now I want to go look for this data that I got. Okay, and here it is. So here are the here is the S63 for expedition. No, no, for again, every program's got its own user user uh, permit. So the stuff that works on expedition is not going to work here. So here's the one we care about right here. And this is the stuff that they're going to give us. When we, this is exactly what you get from New Zealand when you purchase the charts and you follow the instructions in the videos in the article. You're going to get this data right here. And in fact, I think what we can do, let's just do this. Let's just right click. I. I, I, okay, back up a minute. I don't, I don't want to drag it I, because I don't want to move it. What did I do wrong here? Uh, QT, no, I want uh, HTML here. Here's this folder. Now, oh, it's not a right, it's no click at all. Here's the thing, I don't want to drag it because I don't, I want to keep my master copy somewhere else. So I don't drag it, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to right click and say copy. Now I'm going to put this over here. This is now I'm going applications QTM S63. I'm going to right click and paste it. Now, uh, okay, that's fine. I think that's going to be okay. Now inside here, these are zipped, right? This, these are the main charts. Again, you've got the videos in the other mo in the article that say these are zipped. So we're going to unzip these. These are unzipped. These are zipped. So just now on a PC, on a Mac, you just click it and it unzips it. Let me go back here. Okay, so you see that's the base and that's the one I zipped. So once I've un and when, you see here's all the folders inside of it. This is that. Now I want to just delete. I don't need both. So again, I'm going to now unzip this guy and get rid of the original zip, which I don't need. All right. And you do the same thing in a, in a PC, except in a PC, I think you would right click and say extract all. You just have to, here's what, this is what we want to end up with. We got, for the free New Zealand ones, we've got these one, two, three files, the most important one, this one. And then here are the charts, and they're like that. And I think, I think that's good to go on the New Zealand charts. Um, let me go back here, S63. Okay, that's S63. Now let's do the same thing. Now I'm back in that my root folder where I've got these charts. S63. No, uh, where did I store them? Okay, here. Now I want to get the two I bought from Chart World. Yeah, Chart World. QTVLM, that's these. QTVLM, that's these. So for now, I'm just going to copy. Okay, again, let me open this to show you what we've got in here. When you've got in here, this is what you get from Chart World when you buy charts. You'll get one folder, one folder that's got the actual charts in it. That's, there's only a couple, so two small charts here, three actually, and they're three megabytes. And then this is all the permission files and things like that. But so I'm just going to take this here and right click it and say uh, copy, copy, copy. Okay, copy. And I'm going to come over here. Now, where am I? I have to pay attention. I'm in QTVLMS 63. That is correct. I right click and say paste item. Okay, that's there. Now, uh, and then, okay, same, same story though. These are zipped, we gotta unzip them. So I'm gonna unzip this one 
and then um, go back to the. I don't. Why don't that go back? Oh, I see. It's opened it up. Okay, so here's the zip one of this I don't need anymore. And then likewise, uh, this one zipped. I'm going to do that. Okay, I don't need, I don't know why that opened. That must be a setting of some kind. All right, so this one is uh, the PRM, and that's unzipped. So I don't need, I don't need the zipped one anymore. So these are, this is the actual one with the charts and other information here. This is a folder here that's got, here's what I'm after. You know, you got to keep in mind because we're going to have to come and identify this, I think. I think we're going to have to identify this ourselves. Maybe the program will find it on its own. This just happens to be a copy of our, our uh, permit number. I assume, okay. All right, that's that. Now, I'm ready to go, I think, at this point. But this is not very tidy. What I could do... What were these? These were uh, these were New Zealand. Oh, these are okay. So I'm going to just read. Actually, I'm going to rename this folder, and I'm going to call this uh, Chart World uh, AU Charts. Okay, that's that. Just so it's going it's to look okay. Then I'm going to rename this one to uh, New Zealand NZ uh, NZ S sixty three. Wait, a minute, let me just keep, be consistent here. NZ underscore S sixty three. Underscore ENC. Okay, so it's a little bit a little bit easier than I can understand what I've got. Those two. All right, very good. Now let's see. Now that's in the program. Those are in the program. Okay, good to go. Okay, now I think we can shut down. Hopefully, shut down all of that. And now we have. And okay, where am I in my cheat sheet here? Where we've got a uh, uh, practice. Oh, we've loaded them in there. Now we just have to assign the last step. We have to assign the charts. Okay, so we go back to view, no, configuration, uh, chart. Now, this, I'm, this is a long time because I'm talking a lot and doing this, but once you've done it once or twice, you drag in new charts or buy new charts or update those charts, it all goes extremely fast. So we go charts, S63. Now we have to... Uh, and I think the right phrase here is add, not import, but add. And now choose the folder. And let's say here's New Zealand. Let's just see if we can get away with that. Look at that. It found the permit, S60. I think it found the right permit. Found the pub. Okay. Let's say okay. And these are the New Zealand free. Okay. Now let's say add and say choose. Now we'll take the chart world AU charts. Okay, look at that. It looks okay. Um, I don't want to admit that I haven't uh, haven't tested this. Oh, well, excuse me. I just admitted it. Okay, but I've you know I've loaded charts in the past, and you know, and it seemed to work. Okay, let's see if it works now. So that's okay, and I think it. I think uh, that's encouraging. It's building charts. Now we're down here. Now we turn on the vector charts and like to see charts all over the place. Look at that, all over the place. So now new, when you go to get the free New Zealand charts, you actually can get a huge amount of charts from them that New Zealand makes, all the way down to Antarctica. See, these are all those. Or you could just get the charts of the North Islands and the South Islands like that, just these two. Right, this area. Or I just, in this case, I just checked them all and took all of these. So you got all these charts. Now over here in Tasmania, I just took the fi like the final route of the Ho of Sydney Hobart race up into here. But I'm going to call this uh, successful and that we've loaded these charts and they're going to work like normal charts. Um, all right, that 
is the process. I don't think there's anything more to say. Now, again, if you're in the course, if you're in our course and you're having troubles, you can um, post questions there.